Good morning, everyone. It's morning for me. It has been six, six or seven weeks since I did my bigger hair transfer, tra transformation, which I'll leave the video down below if you haven't seen. And we just booked our trip to Florida for Christmas this past weekend. And I was just thinking, instead of going back to my natural color, because I've been kind of wanting to go back to like my more natural, light brown, dark blonde color, might as well go super blonde for Florida because you can't fight the sun and it always lightens up all my baby hairs to like super blonde. So we're gonna go super blonde today with Danielle. <laughs> she uh, has a, a lot of hair to, to lighten up here, but thought, why not? Although my car is at the shop because I had to fix the brakes. So I have to walk in the rain to the shop, get the car and then drive to Danielle. So let's go. Because I know you'll ask, my lips are MAC Oak lip liner, which I haven't worn in a hot minute. And the gloss is, it's by Terry. It's like a balm, but it's in a gloss form. And it's a rose scent, but it really nourishes my lips. Especially with the dry weather. Well, not dry, but you know, they're super cracky. So just nice, nice and simple. Hey guys, it's the next day. It was like 5 p.m. by the time I got out of the hairdressing studio. I can't believe how blonde I am. Like, I think because it was so dark last night, I couldn't really like see the full, you know, brightness of it, but Danielle absolutely killed it. And I just got her to blow dry it straight because she did give the back of my hair a little bit of a trim, so it wasn't styled at all. And I was like, you guys have been asking nonstop for a curly hairstyle, how I've been wearing my hair lately and I've been promising a tutorial so I thought let's put it all in one video. So I'm going to show you how I curl my hair on an everyday basis and now that it's blonde I guess we'll see together what it looks like. I'm going to section off my hair um, just in two sections right now so right at like my eye level and work on the bottom section first. So the wand I've been using is this InStyler. I was sent it about two months ago and I've been using it lots because I've been trying to figure out how I like my hair curled and I have a bigger wand. Um, that I used to use literally every day with my extensions, but because it's a thicker barrel, 
it just doesn't work with this length of hair so this one is perfect it's a lot smaller it's really good I'll link it down below but I've been loving it and all I do is kind of the same deal you guys so taking a normal like an inch thick piece of hair I like to point the wand downwards for this side just because it's a little bit easier for me front piece is always away from my face I'm gonna keep the last inch of my hair out I'm really spreading out that curl you don't need it on for a long time and then I want to make sure it's not too curly because I don't want to lose my length so I actually pull it as soon as I take it off of the heat and you just got a nice little wave going on there I'm gonna alternate the pieces in the direction so for this one I'm gonna go the opposite way and then just pull that's it really simple so I'm gonna go back and forth and you can follow along with this side done there's hardly any length difference normally when you curl your hair you notice the length really lifts that's why I like curling it with this size of barrel and also I find whenever you curl it when you're keeping the barrel flat you're actually adding volume when you keep it downwards or upwards whichever way it gives length to the curl so I'll give you an example I'm not gonna actually do it because I don't want the volume but if I was to hold the wand like this and wrap my hair around and keeping it flat it would actually be a shorter curl than this whereas holding it straight down and then wrapping it around gives the curl a lot more length and that's what I want just because my hair is a little bit shorter also pulling it as soon as it comes off heat helps ensure that it doesn't have too much curl in it brushing it out I am going to spray it with some hairspray this is the Kevin Murphy session spray flex a light flexible finishing hairspray I love it it's great Kevin Murphy also has a great uh, line I think it's called blonde angel for blonde hair and keeping it nice and vibrant which I use as well which is perfect now that I'm a lot blonder so that hairspray is just gonna keep the curl while we move on to the next section so right above my temples where my hair is a lot more sparse thanks to postpartum that's where I'm gonna part it Right up there so all together three sections and we are gonna do the exact same thing we did on the bottom layer on this layer and same with the top layer it's all the same technique although the front framing pieces I always like to curl away from my face to you know ring Liddy for me so I'm gonna take my hairbrush here and just brush it all out so that it's a little bit more of a wavy curl not a structured curl it makes all the difference whenever you brush it out obviously personal preference but I definitely prefer it <laughs> now we're gonna flip our hair spray it and then flip it back I kind of always just style my front bang so it's a little bit more of a dip in the front here and then spray it. So 
And with this side, come a little bit closer so you can see. Just kind of, I don't know, it gives the volume without reducing the length. Do you know what I mean? That's why I love that wand. I think it's so good for a shorter length of hair. Like I don't even have the shortest hair. It's still below my shoulders, but I feel like it still has its length, even though it has lots of volume and texture from, you know, the waves. Also, I'm gonna put this little shine spray in it. It is Shimmer Me Blonde. It's a repairing shine treatment for blondes. Kevin Murphy as well, that purple color that the shampoo and conditioner is. And that, my friends, is how I've been curling my hair. Obviously, this is the first time me doing it with it being so much more blonde. Sometimes I put it a little bit behind one ear, change it up. Obviously, changes every day that I wear it because, you know, this is the fullest it's gonna look as soon as I do it. But hopefully that was helpful. Everything will be listed in the video, what she used on my hair. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm excited to be nice and vibrant and blonde for our holidays. Over Christmas, we're going to Florida, so I don't have to worry about all my baby hairs going away when I was brunette last year. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. That was really premature. <laughs>